In this video guys, we are spending 100 days as Kakashi Hatake from Naruto in Shindo life. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So basically guys, the goals for this video are, first of all, is to dress up as Kakashi. The second thing that we need to do is of course obtain his bloodlines, and then after that, maxing them out, unlocking all the moves. And then at the end, we're going to be fighting our rivals, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is of course make a new account. So the new account I'm going to be calling Get Kakashi infinity like so so yeah that should give us some extra luck to get the bloodlines first try i'm hoping we get it first try because then if not i can already tell it's gonna take us a long long time so first of all let me just dress up as your boy kakashi so that's his hair all right and just like that we have dressed up as kakashi and if i say so myself this actually looks very 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 accurate we have his eyes we have his sharing gun we have his perfect hair and everything now now is the hard part and the hard part is spinning for the bloodlines so we're just gonna go for Saburu and Shiva. Just need, we need both of them in the same account. That would be a lot, lot better. But yeah, if you're wondering why we're going for Saburu, because that is apparently Hatake's like Hatake's bloodline and Kakashi Kakashi Hatake. So we have to get them both in the same account. All right, okay. So 270 spins should at least guarantee us one of them. I'm, I'm assuming should guarantee us one of them, and then two of them would be absolutely amazing. So we're just gonna keep on spinning. Kakashi can basically use every single element in the game. However, the ones that he used the most. I think we're Earth and Lightning, if I'm not mistaken. And we get Earth Style and Lightning, okay. Now we're just gonna focus solely on these bloodlines, just trying to get the ones that we want. Oh, we got Doku Tengoku, which is not that bad of a bloodline. It's like a, a very rare bloodline, however, unfortunately, that isn't the bloodline that we're looking for. But we're getting some good bloodlines right now, okay. That means our luck isn't that bad. Oh, Shiro Glacier too, okay. So, oh, we're getting some good bloodlines here. Just please game, just give us a shiver on the Odin Saburu before our spins run out. Because I feel like if we don't get it on this account, it's going to take us a few, a few accounts to get it. Oh, we also got Jokai, okay. Wrong eye, but still a very, very good bloodline. Oh, we also got Tengoku. I think that's called Tengoku. But yeah, we also got that bloodline. However, for the past like 80, 90 spins, we have got absolutely nothing. Our look is slowly, slowly going downhill. But yeah, I'm hoping, I, I don't think we're going to get them both at the same time. But yeah, if we could, that would be amazing. But I think a new account is going to have to be made. Bro, we also got Narumaki Gold, bro. Why are we getting all the good bloodlines? Just not the ones that we want. I'm pretty sure like Saburu is even like a rare bloodline. Odin Saburu and Saburu, I used to get them all the time. But somehow when I want to try and get them, I just never ever get them. Hey, we also got Snake Man Platinum, however. However, it's not looking too good. Because we have 30 spins left, then I do not think we're going to be getting those two bloodlines in 30 spins. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, but I doubt I am. Alright, and the last two spins. Imagine we get them both in the same two spins, that would be like, that would be impossible. But imagine, yeah, one is wood and one is ice, wow. But yeah, this is going to be, I can already tell this is going to require a lot, a lot of accounts. In those 280 spins, we did not even get one of the bloodlines. So yeah, this is going to be... A pretty pretty long journey so, but yeah i'll see you guys when i have an account with those two bloodlines all right and finally we have the two bloodlines that we want in the same account we have the odin sabaru and we have shiva akuma we have 106 spins left so this could mean that we don't get shiva but it doesn't matter because we have 100 spins and they're basically going to be useless so i'm just going to be spinning until we get shiva if we have like five spins left I might just like try and get lightning and then that's it because earth is the one that I'm definitely keeping and then this one here I'm just trying to get shiver but if we don't I don't really mind having earth and to be honest earth and any other element because this guy can use basically every element all right with four spins left we have lightning we might as well keep it there's no point of trying to go for shiver all right the first thing I want to do is check the prices on the moves because I know the shiver moves are going to be expensive but I'm not sure if the Odin Saburu moves are going to be expensive I feel like they're going to be somewhat cheap all right okay so are they expensive yes they are they are very expensive and when do you unlock the mode for these level 500 and i'm assuming shiva akuma is 200 or oh, level 50 for shiva akuma okay that is very very easy to get and then we have no stats for level zero have we got any of these missions nope and the first mission that we're gonna do is i'm gonna try and find one of those like blue ones so i can just find someone's missing cat just to kick us off we can get a few levels from that and everything so uh no i do not want to clean up the kage's office i'm sorry i want to find the one with the cat can you pick up some weeds growing inside the village we might as well is it gonna be okay there's one right here okay i'm hoping it's easy and fast so all right that's one that's two that's three and the last one is inside a tree 
Ah, I'm so close. I'm so close to reaching it. No. Inside the tree, or am I tripping? Maybe it's on top of the tree. No, but why would it be on top of the tree? That's so dumb. Okay. It's, it's here, but I can't reach it. We're gonna have to cancel the quest, sadly. Alright, let me do another one, because that, that was a waste of time. Alright, please be the missing cat one. Okay, trouble me, because I've been doing graffiti all over the village. No, man, I want to find the one that's the missing cat. Can you find my missing cat? There we go. This one's the easiest one. Right, okay, the cat is literally right here. And... Is it going to make me pick it up? There we go. Mission complete. How many levels is that going to level us up? 20, 21. Bro, it's leveling up as... Oh, okay, 30 levels from that one quest. So we have 500 points. I'm going to split it, like, kind of evenly between Nin, Chi, and Tai. And then 122 into Tai. HP is not really that important for now. Now that we've done some of those quests, okay, there we go. We have already have 10k just off the bat, just like that. Okay, let me do another one of those missions because they were good. Actually, what are these orange missions? We have never done one of them. Can you deliver some grocery shops? Okay, the delivery ones are very, very easy. Where? Okay, there's one right there we need to deliver. What has this person ordered? Okay, they've got, they've got a baguette, they've got some lettuce, they've got a banana, and I think some milk. There we go. Second delivery complete. All right, third delivery. Oh, fourth delivery complete. Just like that. Okay, we completed all the deliveries. And that game does 12 levels, which is not that bad. As that... Okay, that's barely, that, those barely, barely level up our, like, ninja suit and elements and stuff like that. The best way to, of course, level them up is doing the log grinding. However, have I unlocked anything here? Okay, reach level 248, 0.433 times, charge 202 times, complete four quests from villages. Okay, there's some ones that we can easily, easily do, like unlock the weapon. Have we got enough money to unlock the weapon? All right, there we go. We unlocked the weapon for 4,000 and we got 12,000. That's how you know, quick profit just like that. But now I think I'm going to be doing just a little bit of log grinding just to start us off, kick us off a little bit because we need to get like level how much? Uh, level we need to uh, we might as well get to level 140 with these we might as well get our elements to level 140 so we can unlock two of them from each therefore we can actually start doing the green scroll missions so i'm just gonna find my the closest log so yeah i'll be back when my elements are level 140 all right guys we have leveled up to level 140 150 with our bloodline which means we can unlock the first two moves of our elements so we can unlock this move and we can we afford okay we're gonna unlock this move and you know what, we might as well unlock this move. Oh, we need 400 chi. Okay, we have 770 points. So I'm just going to put 200, 200, and then 170 into our, our HP. But we can, we've can we got a decent amount of moves. We have three moves already. And also, if we go on Bloodline, we can equip the first mode. So let me just... So, ooh, Form 1. That looks absolutely amazing. And it gives us a very, very good stat boost and an amazing speed boost. Okay, the next one is 450, level 450, which is not that bad to be honest. What's our bloodline? Our bloodlines are level 149 each, which is very, very good. So now let's actually do some green scroll missions. I'm curious to actually see the C-spec of this move because I've never actually used Shiva Akuma. Bro, why is there no green scroll missions? How is there no green scroll missions? Wait, am I tripping? There's no way there's no green scroll missions all right now. Oh yeah, see you on it. Oh, super, super far. I'm hoping it doesn't change by the time we get to it. It's right there, okay. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Can you use this move here? Is it gonna make us faster? Never mind. <laughs> okay, I thought that was one of those moves that just like makes you run faster for a little bit of time. But it didn't. However, I think we still can make it. Where is the green skull mission? Don't say you've disappeared on me. Police, don't say you've disappeared on me. Oh, there it is, okay. Wow. Okay, nearly missed it. There we go. Let me get it. Okay, I saw a group of Dawn ninjas. Okay, these are easy, easy peasy. They're right there too. So, of course, they're going to get destroyed. With Kakashi Hatake, we should be easily able to defeat them. Right, it's two of them, which makes it a lot easier. Let me check my C-spec. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, my C-spec is the one that makes me move super, super quick. Okay, that's really, really good. However, our stamina goes down very, very fast. How it's like one of the best moves to run around with. So it is good. However, it ain't gonna benefit us against these guys. So we're gonna wait for it. Can I undo it? Can I undo it? What's going on? Okay, there we go. I think I undid it. But yeah, let me go back into my shotgun gun mode. And I'm guessing there's no key spec for this. Yep, and no e spec. So we're just gonna be relying on these two moves, our three elemental moves for now, because our C spec is not a move that we can hit. But yeah, wow, they, they died straight away too. And how many levels that gave us? That gave us around 16, 15 levels, which is very, very good. All right, there's another green scroll mission right here. Now there's like lots of green scroll missions. All right, okay, now we're gonna be using our Y move because we didn't get to use it on the last mission. 
a very very good move and it also one taps the opponent and then we can use this two move here there we go and this last guy here we can easily just kill him with taijutsu that was so so easy and is that gonna get to level 100 no two more levels to level 100 and it gave us a decent amount of coins we have lots of stats to stat points and i'm gonna put 200 into noon 200 into this and then we're just gonna leave that 50 for later can we unlock this move now yes we can and this one's gonna go straight to y and now we need a little bit more levels to unlock any of the moves who do we have to defeat now rogue nimbus assassins okay please take care of them that should not be difficult at all also whilst we're here let me actually go on l do we have anything here okay so, it's so we're close to some of them like i hit the logs we're close to that but nothing else really punch 148 times more well we're close to it but we stopped the log riding a little bit too early but it doesn't matter really because we can just do these green score missions that are going to give us a lot of coins. But there's somebody here. Wait, is he fighting the same people I am? I think he... I think... Oh, he was fighting the same people I was. Yes, okay. So he kind of helped us out with our mission. Yes, sir. Our mission is done just like that. That was very, very easy. And how many points do we have now? Okay, we have 230. I'm going to put basically everything into my chi. And a little bit into my nin. Like so. But yeah, now what's our main priority? Our main priority is probably just to like try and get our bloodlines and elements up and also our money up so yeah i'm gonna be doing a little bit of green skull missions this is kind of gonna be like a training arc where i'm just gonna be doing lots of green skull missions and yeah i'll see you guys when i do have a decent amount of coins and my bloodlines are a decent amount of levels all right training arc number one is over we managed to get to level 427 and our bloodline our shiver bloodline especially to level 452 which means we can unlock the next form form two and i'm pretty sure that's like the form where we get our susano i think when we block we get we start getting our susano yep the blue one in my opinion this is probably the best looking susano in the whole of the naruto franchise in my opinion and when we hit okay yep it also comes out too which is absolutely amazing and i'm assuming it has a q spec yes okay finally this one has a q spec okay i think the c spec for the whole entire bloodline is exactly the same it's just us rapidly running so it's like kind of like an, an another dimension just running super super fast which is very very good for traveling because it takes you far far away all right also we have some stat points here we have 1200 stat points let me just demode so we can see what we can put it in i think i might just put it 500 600 to this and 600 to this and then the rest just 49 here and then 30 37 right there and for the elements we can actually unlock the next two moves over each actually we can nearly unlock every single move so we're gonna unlock this one here this one here this one here and this one here and i'm gonna put this one at t this one at y okay we can unlock this one i'm gonna put this one at t actually like so all right so we have a decent decent arsenal and uh, now we're gonna be doing a green score mission just to show you guys how op we actually got all right we need to kill some of the june assassins and if you're wondering why i'm in ember instead of blaze it's because I, my md like replenishes so much faster in ember than blaze because blaze it takes me so so long for my md to go all the way up so i can like go into my form again so that's the reason i'm gonna use my q spec here okay that does a decent amount of damage actually and it basically makes them disappear we can use our arm move and our when you found t move oh that does damage and our new found g move oh okay there we go just like that it's very very easy especially now like we can easily kill those guys with no difficulty at all 
Also guys, whilst you're here, make sure to comment down below what other Naruto characters you want me to spend 100 days as in Shindo Life. To be honest, not even Naruto characters, what anime characters, because there's so many bloodlines in this game. So yeah, just comment down below what characters you want me to spend 100 days as, and I'll just be picking a few and doing them. So yeah, that'll be super, super appreciated. Also, make sure to like this video, because that'll be very, very, very appreciated. This guys, with my arm move, I feel like my arm move is just my favourite move in the whole entire, like, the stone element entirely. We can use my G move. Okay, there we go. That kills two of them. We can use my Y move and that should kill is that gonna kill them it makes them very very low however it doesn't kill them this should finish them off and this guy here we can use our q spec that should finish him off there we go that was very very easy so now what's the plan we've basically maxed out our elements kind of maxed them out now the bloodlines okay the, these are gonna cost 2.5 million each and we can't even equip when's our next mode is that level 800 Okay, that's level 800 and also our Susano mode is level 800. So yeah, we need to obtain Forged Spirit to use this. Okay, so we need to kill. I think I think it was the Shiva Akuma guy or like the Forged Spirit guy. I don't know who we need to kill. I'll just go into Shindo Life Weekend it'll tell me. But yeah, our main priority now is to level up our bloodlines and get coins too. And the best way right now to do it, which sounds pretty, pretty boring, but to just keep on doing green scroll missions until we do it. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the only way I can do it right now. There's no other way to make coins in this game except for doing missions and missions and missions. So yeah, this time I'm not going to be doing a training arc. I might do like a time skip arc where I get to like level 800 with my bloodline and get try and get level 800 and also get as many coins as possible. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I've got a decent amount of coins. My bloodline's at level 800. So yeah, time skip arc commences now. Alright guys, time skip over and we've managed to get to level 847 with also our bloodlines being level 804 and 746 so we can actually technically equip this mode oh this mode is a C spec so they're kind of like interfering with each other to be honest it, it has a very good boost and let me check the C spec okay it's a Sharingan C spec oh the Q spec is nice though wow that like auto teleports the people however we're not going to be using that of course we're going to be using our Sharingan because that is a lot lot better and also we have unlocked mode 3 in our sharing gun so if we go on form 3 there we go and now when we block we basically have half of the perfect susano and the way to get the other half meaning getting mode 4 is by killing the spirit the forged spirit so we're gonna be going to him of course and absolutely obliterating him we're gonna unlock this here the health stim oh we can't unlock it okay so our elements we're gonna unlock this here we're gonna put this on we're gonna put this on T and we're gonna unlock this because the carrying is like one of my favorite moves this one's gonna go in G we have our best move set right now so we shouldn't be we shouldn't be struggling that much against him I think he spawns here he spawns somewhere here is it is he here oh I think that's him it should be him if I remember correctly okay forged Akuma do you want to fight forge Akuma the only thing that we need to do is kill his Susano so him as a person we don't really need to hit him at all so i'm gonna try and get his susano here no 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 don't get me in a finger please please move 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 okay we're gonna go up here and get his susano because that's the only thing that we truly care about okay our moves can hit him and that move did so much damage our kitty move can that hit him okay that did hit him this move here does our key spec move hit him okay i think that hit him too which is a very very good our g move okay that did damage okay and I think our F move hits him too, if I'm not mistaken. We start hitting like this. Okay, there we go. It hit him for a good amount too. Okay, he's very, very low now. So we can we can kind of go down here now and try and hit him from here. Is the guy's gonna follow. Is the guy gonna follow? Oh, he didn't. He doesn't even need to follow at this point because we can just hit him like this and do so much damage against him. Okay, and we can use this Y move and start hitting him with our M1s. Yeah, this guy should not be that much trouble at all. That was very, very easy to kill. To be honest, we kind of were like a bit scumbaggy, but it doesn't really matter. And there we go. Just like that, we have obtained form four. Okay. I've killed him though. Oh, we need to obtain it from there. Oh, and he puts in his own dimension. What is going on? I'm so, so confused. Don't, please, please let me get the thingy scroll first before you kill me. I think I got the scroll. Did I get the scroll? I just seen the scroll there. What did it go? Wait, must obtain forged spirit. I literally... Wait, am I- was I tripping or did I just see the scroll before? I'm gonna cancel the quest and redo it because I'm pretty sure the scroll just got like, removed. Cancel the quest. Am I tripping? I literally see- I seen the scroll like right here. Alright, let's try that again because the first time did not end up well. Alright, there we go, finally. 
Bro, that took us so, so long for no reason, bro. And now we can cancel the quest now. There we go, it's cancelled. And now if you press C4, we have unlocked the perfect Susano. Uh, bro, it looks clean. That looks absolutely amazing. Now, to be honest, the only thing that's left is to unlock all the moves that we haven't unlocked, which is basically nearly all of them. So we need to unlock. To be honest, with the Odin Sabaru, there's no point of unlocking every single move. So I'm just going to unlock this move here, Beast Team, because this one's also C-Spec. So it goes VBN2. So we can't really use every single move at the same time. So there's no point of unlocking every single move, if you know what I mean. And for this rise, I'm going to be locking these two moves here. So the first one, a million, a million, and a million. So we need 3 million. We're on 500,000 so far. So we need 2.5 million, which is a lot, a lot of money. And we can use our Kirin. Oh, Kirin is such a sick move. And we've gained like 50, 60,000. So to be honest, we don't really need to do that many green score missions. Just like a few, like 40, 50 green score missions. And we will be done. So yeah, guys, it's going to be training arc part two. Where we try and get as much millions as possible. So yeah, training arc part two commences now. Alright guys, we have finished grinding and we have 3.1 million Rayo, which means we can unlock the moves that we need. So we're going to be unlocking this move here, this move here, we're going to put this in V, this one in N, and they see that we unlock this one, or this one, but this one just seems, it has a cooler name, so we're going to unlock this one, and we're going to have it as V, so let me try that move. Okay, it's like kind of like a beast, oh, oh, it's like these guys here. And I'm assuming they hit the people that we're going after. And the person that, the rival that we're basically going to fight is Might Guy. There's no point in fighting anyone else but Might Guy. Because that's truly Kakashi's rival and that's why we're in the training field. So for this, we're going to be fighting Kenichi because that's basically the only person that's like semi-representative of Might Guy. So we're going to be going form straight away Susanoo mode. We're going to be fighting him. Of course, I think we're of course going to win, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. We're just gonna go here and Ryuji Kenichi. Do you want to fight Ryuji Kenichi? Yes, sir. I know it kind of looks like Rock Lee, but that's like the only person that semi represents my guy. So we're gonna be fighting him, of course. And he is my guy's student. To be honest, the thing that's gonna really carry us is the M1s because they do the most damage. And he is a Taijutsu student, so he doesn't really have any moves. Oh, bro, he does combos. Wow, that was a combo. Relax, yo. Yo, I did not know. Bro, I did not know my guy was on top. Bro, relax. The beasts are trying to attack him too. Okay, they do decent amount of damage and they do repeated damage. I'm going to try this move here. Ooh, to be honest, most of Kakashi's moves are just all like Sharingan moves. That was a cool move that he did. Let me try this move here, the end move. Yeah, they're all just Sharingan moves, so they're all like kind of PvP based. Not against the... They're not really suited against the bosses and stuff. So just going to be using the wood moves and we're going to be using the Kirin move. And for anyone saying, oh, he's never used Kirin before, it doesn't really matter. It's a lightning move anyways, so it doesn't change anything. Chidori, Chidori, come on, let me hit that. Oh, that didn't make me hit that, but yeah, I'm half HP, he's half HP, so it's kind of like just a free for all right now. Okay, I don't know if that hit him or not, but yeah, just M1s, M1s all days is going to literally, he can't hit us when we're hitting M1s, it's so, so easy. It's too easy, man, it's too easy. And now we can use our, oh, never mind, we can't. I'm going to use my... Bro, every move that I try and use, he just cancels it out. Okay, gonna use my arm move here. There we go. And he's rested. Oh, this is a mistake, bro. It's a mistake that you've rested. We can use this kidding move. And we can use this. And yeah, he should be dead in absolutely no time at all. And we can use this move here. This is probably... Oh, never mind. Bro, every move I try and use, he just cancels it out. Okay, I'm gonna use my Chidori move. If he doesn't cancel it out, can I hit him? Ah, so, but there we go. I don't know if that, that didn't hit him. I don't think the Chidori moves work some bosses, unfortunately. And this guy should be dead. Yeah, very, very. Just one more move, and he should be dead with a few M1s. And my guy, just like that, we have 
Oh, yo, 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 he could kill us here, okay. Just like that, my guy, we have defeated you. And we've also got the companion, which, you know what, we might as well take. Because we, we defeated him, so we deserve a reward for that. But yeah, that was Kakashi Hatake fighting his rival and absolutely destroying him. We became so, so overpowered. We literally got max level. We have a perfect Susano. We unlocked all the moves that we wanted to. And yeah, unfortunately, that is the end of the video. But yeah, guys, that has been the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and also comment down below what other anime characters you want to spend 100 days as hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day guys and peace out guys peace out